Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Oh my gosh, it's starting off so amazing. A little rough with the, a little rough with the premonitions and stuff, but uh, I guess that's to be expected. You ever just like wake up and know things? Not even necessarily have to have a dream about it. Just you just wake up, you just know it within yourself. It's hard to explain, but uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be an interesting rest of the year for everybody. I hope everyone knows that. If uh, if you guys were done with changes happening in COVID. Be prepared for a few more. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up too early. You know what I mean? Don't want anybody to have a big letdown. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting rest of the year. Just make sure that you are speaking your feelings and doing it in a healthy way. Creating healthy bonds with people. Creating them built upon your goals and your aspirations and commonality. Not commonality based in past traumas okay if you meet somebody and the first thing you do is talk about your your pain from your past that's called a trauma bond you know what I mean if if that is the deepest thing you guys connect on it's a trauma bond you know what I mean if that's the one thing everybody connects on it's trauma bonding and it's actually super unhealthy it creates karmic relationships and actually creates a lot more you know trauma in the world but it also teaches lessons so I mean there is a total positive to all this you know what I mean as long as we learn the lesson we can ascend out of it and we ain't got to go back to it you know what I mean as long as we retain the lesson within us we're good all right I have a feeling I'm gonna need that to move a bit I want to lose this Yeah, that's perfect to use. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, today's scripture is uh, Ephesians chapter 2. I guess we're going backwards. I don't know that the Father and I are just going backwards through life right now. I'm sure a lot of people are, actually. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a devolution to the revolution. So... And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversations in time past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when he were dead, in, even when we were dead in sins, hath, he has quickened us together with Christ. By grace we are saved. And hath raised us up together, and made us to sit, in heavenly places in Jesus Christ. Well, in Christ Jesus, it says. There's a reason why they're... I'm not going to talk about it, though. That's for everyone to discover for themselves. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding great riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Ah, oh, he must have wanted me to read it again, I guess. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. 